Isaiah McGuire here, defensive lineman, can play both ends and tackle. So would you like to start your questions? Second row. You know, uh, I was talking to Martez about uh, Eli's personality. You know, what do you think it is about Eli's personality? You know, he's so witty, funny here. Is he kind of similar with you guys? And does he keep that up uh, with the team too? Uh, yeah. Um, so Coach Drink has always been out you know, going personality and it's affectionate, you know what I'm saying? He brings fun to, you know, uh, the game of uh, football. Um, like, in you know, our team means we have like a shoot around, you know, before we actually get into the specific details of what we have during the week and things of that sort. Just as a follow up to that, you know, what do you think that's done for building the culture of this team? You know, we talked about upstairs, kind of mm -hmm. like all these guys staying and, you know, wanting to stay, and that's so rare now. What do you think that's done for this culture, just his personality? Uh, I feel like it's definitely helped people, um, as you say, you know, they want to stay, you know, they want to be a part of something like that. You know, they want to have fun with the game of football. It's already hard being a collegiate athlete, student athlete, so you have to have fun, in, you know, and um, do something different, you know, than the usual. Okay, on the front row here. AP Stedham, WHEP, uh, Foley, Alabama. Isaiah, what, are you, what do you need to do individually and the defense to be better this year? Be more attentive to details, uh, just really become a better playmaker for the team uh, to help my team uh, lead to success. Uh, like I said, uh, we have a group of guys in there that work hard and you know, love playing next to each other. So uh, to build that uh, type of chemistry among defensive line and you know, the back seven team and offense is going to mesh well, uh, well together. On the left side, back row. Dan Peck, ESPN 106.7 in Auburn. Isaiah, the commissioner was talking about different scheduling models, and he mentioned that he would prefer a system that didn't uh, have teams going 12 years between visits uh, Missouri's going to make their first ever visit to Auburn uh, mm -hmm. later this season. Uh, as a player, do, do you have a preference for uh, a schedule that would send, uh, send you to different schools more often in the conference? Or do you sort of like uh, the division model they have right now that, that allows you to see uh, the same six or seven teams every year in the SEC? Mm -hmm. Man, uh, college football is changing, uh, mm -hmm. as you see with a lot of different colleges going to different uh, conferences, man. And I, as a player, it's just my job to come in there ready to work every week and uh, put the best uh, out there on the field. So I don't really care too much. To your right, second row. Nicole, KBTX in College Station. How have the three guys who have been here, you guys are seniors, been able to stick through your time at Mizzou and then also what are you hoping to get out of this season obviously you want to win but mm -hmm. what is your main goal or your personal goal um, for this season man uh, the guys that's you know been there through all the tough times we've honestly built an unbreakable bond uh, we're family uh, it's more than football it's more than doing the same workouts uh, we you know we look forward to going to each other's weddings or seeing each other, you know, uh, have kids one day and things of that sort, you know, meeting up, you know, you know, with the uh, reunions in college, 10-year uh, reunions or things of that sort, man. So it's, it's much more than uh, the sport itself. Um, this year we're looking forward to really putting all the pieces together that's been building upon, you know, the last few years, you know, and that equates to success. Okay, we'll stay on the left side here. Obviously, you know, new defensive coordinator this year. What have been your overall impressions of Blake Baker and just kind of what he's done so far with you mm -hmm. guys and what kind of expectation mm -hmm. has he really set for you this year? Blake, uh, Coach Baker has honestly been a great addition to our staff and our team and our program. Uh, he brings a lot of energy and a lot of, um, a lot of different ways for us to be successful as a team and as a defense. Our standards to be uh, the best. Uh, and go out and perform. Also have fun doing it, being free, not have to think about things too much. Uh, like I said, if you think too much, you slow down during the play. So for us, it's really just tying, thing in, tying things in together and going out performing our best. Okay. We talked a little bit earlier about the changes to the offense and mm -hmm. just the extra step that the defense has to take to mm -hmm. kind of make sure that they're not lacking at all. What's the kind of changes that you're making this year to make sure that whoever the starting quarterback is, that mm -hmm. the defense is still top notch? I wouldn't even say it's more so lacking. It's just like I said, putting the pieces all together. Uh, our def as a defense, we have our own standard, you know what I'm saying, to uphold, you know, um, the success that the team, you know, eventually grabs a part of and, you know, be a part of. So for us, it's just holding ourselves to that standard. 
uh, doing our part as a defense to make life easier for the offense and uh, vice versa as the offense to make things easier for the defense. Okay, the back row. In, in part because of the transfer portal and the extra COVID-19 year of, of eligibility afforded to players, we're seeing some extremely veteran uh, quarterbacks around college football and around the SEC. Mm -hmm. Jack Abraham has been playing college football for a really yeah. long time. I remember him at Ole Miss in, or Southern Miss in 2017, mm -hmm. 2018, and he's, he's been around since then. Uh, your, your impressions of, uh, of Jack as one of the, one of the quarterbacks uh, competing to be, uh, mm -hmm. to be out there this fall? Mm -hmm. Jack is a real cool guy. Uh, I've talked to him uh, f on a few occasions and, you know, just getting to know him as a person. Uh, like I said, him being married is was something that, you know, intrigued me. It's like, man, really? But, you know, he said that he loves it. Um, and, you know, as a football player, he's real sharp and, you know, real skilled uh, out there, you know, throwing routes with, uh, you know, other wide receivers, you know, when uh, quarterbacks and wide receivers and tight ends and running backs, uh, you know, go out for routes. A real sharp guy and a great, better person. To your right, second row. NIL has been around for the past year. How have you seen it change the game? And is it a distraction or is it a positive kind of among you and your teammates in the locker room and um, on and off the field? I honestly feel like it's a distraction if you let it be a distraction. Uh, in my opinion, um, it really gives uh, collegiate athletes a great opportunity, you know what I'm saying, to be financially stable, you know, in college and things of that sort. Um, also help families back at home. Um, so the main goal is to really play and perform on the field. Um, like I said, NIL really can't help that. You know, it's just you and the pads, and you got to perform against, you know, whoever you play against. Growing up where you did, when did Missouri get on your football radar? Say it again. <laughs> Growing up where you did, where did, when did Missouri get on your football radar? Honestly, Missouri was uh, my only Power 5 offer. Um, so, you know, I wasn't that highly recruited out of high school, but, you know, God shaped it in the way that he wrote the story. So Missouri has given me the best opportunity to go out and uh, play college football. In what ways has it exceeded your expectations or your hopes? Just to put all the pieces together, you know, be successful as a team. Like we've been building uh, each and every day brick by brick, you know, not looking too far ahead, uh, not too – not focusing too much on the past. Um, like I said, focus on the now and join the now moment. Back row again. I imagine Coach Odom uh, played, played a role in your, in your decision to, mm -hmm. to come to Missouri. He's still in the conference as mm -hmm. Arkansas's defensive coordinator. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys get to see him uh, mm -hmm. this year. What, what's it like seeing uh, C Coach Odom uh, now, now that he's coaching somewhere else? Man, I feel like it's real cool. Like I said, he was a part of uh, one of the biggest decisions I've made in my entire life so far. Uh, so like I said, um, it's all love outside of, you know, the actual football game itself. But, you know, once, you know, that whistle blows and that clock starts running, it's, it's game time. We have any final questions? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Good job.